hello guys in this video we are going to see how to get the data from a graph or a plot that is from anywhere any sources so we have this blue data that we have to find the data from this plot so let's just go to the google and type data thief or we can even use data thief method or there is a better tool that i prefer is web tool digitizer so how to use it we use we launch it we load the image here okay so we choose the file from a desktop which is this one any graph that you want to do you can also select the type of graph let's say it's the 2d plot what we have so align so first thing what we need to do is to align the axis so we have to take two x-axis data points and two y-axis data points to get a, a reference like how much this axis length is okay let me just show you let's say this axis goes this a point here is zero and we can take any point let's say 80 point okay so these two points like this whole image width would actually like give us the ratio like how much distance it is and how much the y-axis so for the y-axis now i have to select let's say i select because a blue curve is still minus 5 to 5 so i let me take that you can take any other axis also but it's just to see the image axis reference like this much width is 10 and that corresponds to this much 80 so let's go and complete it so the point one this axis one is zero here the point two this is 80 okay here next this point here we see is minus 5 and likewise the next point is 5 so that's how the axis is calibrated now when it is calibrated we can either do manual extraction or automatic extraction both are fine we can just run even that but let me choose because the points are very clear so let me do manual extraction so this is click over here add point okay you can also delete the point if you want but let me first add the point let's say this point then this point you can see the red dots this point this point this 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 If you want to delete a point you can just click on delete point and click that point it would be deleted so let me just add it okay so okay also you can use automatic automatic extraction if you don't have the points so uh, clearly visible so what you need to do is we can view the data now so our data is here okay we can just copy it and paste it to our excel or what we can even do like get dot csv or copy or let's plot it in plotly so just click on that and it will show the plot yes so this is the same plot actually let me just show you by comparing it in excel where it is better to visualize so you can see the axis is from 0 to 100 so here also we had 0 to 100 let me just copy this so I have to copy this take everything control C I am clicking and going to this and here let me just paste this and okay so now let's just make the chart like this I think and if I just put the insert the image okay so our graph was this one oops it's struck here I have to insert it here so if I just insert this over here we can compare it now how to compare it we have to take the same axis so this is 120 what we need to do is format this axis till 
100 okay so this axis format this axis till 100 and yeah ev that's fine and this axis we need to again format this axis from its minimum is minus 15 while it goes till 5 okay I think some points are above this it's greater than 5 so let's take 8 yes so you see the trend is quite the same and we can just even reduce this so minus 15 so it's kind of the same graph that you get but the point is we get the data points okay so i hope this video helps you please like share and subscribe thank you